Stanley. There you are. Such perfect timing. It does make me wonder. What has you wandering the halls at this early hour? You don't strike me as one who rises with the sun. Why, have we caught you in the midst of a morning tryst? With whom, I wonder? Um, well, I... Oh, don't be so bashful. You must share the details, I insist. But first, be a dear and restrain this imposter. It would be fitting, I think, for you of all people to be the one to capture Shining Nova. He's not going to do that. He isn't. That's right. He's not just some puppet for you to command. Stands his own person with his own choices. And he's chosen to reject you. He's coming with me. From now on, he doesn't have to be henchman number 065. He can just be Stan. And whoever that might be is up to him. Well, yes. So it is. Don't you see what she's doing? All Kate has done is lie to you. And this time is no different. Lies and manipulation. Stanley, listen to me. What Shining Nova and all those like her trade in are delusions. Impossible dreams that they dangle in front of ordinary people as a reward for playing by their rules. Has she promised to make you one of them? It will never happen. Your bounty will be a handshake and a farewell while she and her famous comrades take all the glory. Or it would be, if you had any hope of surviving such a betrayal. Make no mistake, Stanley. Defiance will earn you nothing but a slow death. Go on, Stanley. Do it. Stan, don't. I, uh, I... I won't! Oh, shit. Come on, move!
No, left. Cafeteria's this way. You're sure about this cafeteria thing? Positive. Faster and there's a chance Scorpion doesn't guess we're headed there. Best bet. Honestly, I find it a lot crazier that you just rabbit seasoned a super-powered assassin. It works more often than you think. Ask me about Dr. Calamity later. But like, later. Right. Breathing time. Very important. bag of fries. I shall toss your double-crossing behinds straight into the trash and see you branded with the one-star review of righteousness. Now behold the glory of Lord. Oh, my glory. Did you have to blast him in the crotch? Wasn't sure it would get through the helmet. You seem kind of underhanded for a superhero. Breathing, Stan. Right. Kitchen. Okay, there should, should be an exit to a loading dock. Phew, oh God, can you lung collapse from breathing too hard? Holy shit. Loading dock? Right, for food deliveries. Good thinking. That's it. Gate will be locked, but there's a one-way hatch next to it. No keypad or anything, so no one will even know we used it. So that's where the emergency exit is. There had to be at least one way out without an electronic lock. That's just Secret Bunker Architecture 101. Hey, how come this wasn't part of the tour? That seems like a serious safety oversight. You just took my boss out with a laser to the nuts, and this is where you question our confidence. All right, I'll save it for the debrief. Come on, let's get that thing open before someone wanders in here.
You okay? Yeah, just... just give me a second. Not yet, okay? Just a little further. Then you can rest all day. Right. That sounds nice. Thanks. No problem. By the logic of a certain SNS Game Master, we're basically a full-fledged party now. That means we've got to support each other, right? So, uh, where are we almost, if you don't mind me asking? The highway is the other way. That's the point. I won't think to look in this direction. Makes for a better hiding spot. Hiding spot? Oh man, tell me we're not camping. I mean, we technically had some survival training, but I would always smuggle some energy bars with me, and I'm fresh out right now. As much as I want to see you struggle with a tent, no, it's not a hiding spot for us. Then what? Let me show you. We just have to slip into something more comfortable. Think it suits me? <laughs> Holy shit! I don't know where the rebels are hiding, I swear. Oh, right. Hang on. Let me switch off the voice modulation. There we go. Is mine really that much freakier than Lord Bedlam's? Just more jarring now that I know what you actually sound like. Though you could probably make a quick buck selling that tech to guys like him if you want to pull a scorpion. I'm good, thanks. But speaking of scorpion... stuff you in the armor delivery pod, but I can't promise I will be any more comfortable. Don't worry, I won't drop you. Alright, I trust you. But just so I know what I'm paying for, will there be any complimentary snacks? I know most people prefer the peanuts, but I love those little biscuit things myself. So if you have any... That's first class only, sorry. The only seat left is in the luggage compartment, which you can book for the low, low price of not getting dumped into the Pacific Ocean. That is quite the deal. But in that case, I'm definitely gonna need to grab a cinnamon roll before I board. Do you want one? Fine. Hang 
hang on. Don't forget, I've got you.